So here I am on the British newspaper archives and I'm just searching for Maud Bruce. Um, and as you can see, the results are coming up and there's loads of results. So what I'm going to do is use quotation marks to search for Maud Bruce together um, and Gretna rather than Maud and Bruce and Gretna. Um, and as you can see, that worked really well. So I've got my first article up called Heroism at Gretna from the Southern Reporter. Um, and I'm just zooming in on that to see if I can get a better look. And then when I read it and find out that Maud is indeed mentioned in that um, article, I'm going to download that article to my computer. And I've just saved it as the name of the title of the article um, and the date and name of the newspaper because that just makes things easier for me. And that's what I'm doing for the rest of the results. I'm just going through, I'm reading them, I'm making sure that they are um, about the Maud Bruce who I am searching for and uh, then if they are I am saving them to my computer so that I can reference them later. So here I'm just going through all of the other newspapers that came up on my search and doing exactly the same thing. I am finding out if it's the Maud that I'm searching for and when I do find out that it is the Maud I am saving it onto my computer. And as you can see here, even with the Maud Bruce and Gretna, you still get some results that are definitely not our Maud Bruce. So here I am trying some other variations of Maud's name. So I've got Maud Nunn, which is her married name. I'm still using the quotation marks as well, um, and which really helps narrow down the results. Um, and as you can see, I got quite a few results um, from this search, but none of them seem to relate to my Maud. So um, that was a bit disappointing. So I tried something else. Um, I tried Mrs. Maud Nunn. I then also decided to have a go at using Maud's full name. So Maud Ellen Bruce, her middle name. Um, and that didn't come up with anything with the quotation marks. So I tried without quotation marks and that came up with loads of results that uh, weren't related to mine Maud at all. Um, and this is just something that you encounter when you search on the British Newspaper Archive. Just have a play around with it, try different things. I also tried OBE, as you can see here, because I knew Maud was awarded an OBE. Um, and I got some results for that. Um, but yes, I just uh, amended, slightly amended my search um, every single time just to see what I could come up with. Um, yeah, so I typed in out order of the British Empire here rather than OBE. Um, and uh, that came up with some great results as well, which really did relate to my Maud Bruce. Um, so I did exactly the same thing as I'd done before, and I just zoomed in on the article, made sure that the Maud Bruce that I was searching for was the Maud Bruce this article was on, and as you can see, this article is titled Plucky Munitions Lass, so I knew it was my Maud Bruce, um, and then I saved it to my computer. I also wanted to briefly show you how you can narrow down searches even more. So you can, as you can see by this sidebar, you can filter your searches by date, uh, by newspaper, by country, by regions, and by county. So um, you can type Maud Bruce and narrow it to a certain date range or a certain place range. And this is really helpful, especially when you've got thousands of results, if you've got a really common name. You can actually narrow it down to the local newspaper to that area, which is obviously more likely to maybe report um, on your person. Um, so you can also explore publication. So here I am going down to the Dumfries and Galloway Standard, which is a local newspaper local to Gretna. Um, and you can just search Maud Bruce in that paper's archives as well. So you can literally narrow it down to one paper, which is really helpful because it can get overwhelming when you have thousands and thousands of results. And as you can see, I'm still using my handy um, quotation marks to make sure that I'm searching for Maud Bruce as a phrase rather than Maud and Bruce um, as two separate words. Um, and as you can see here, I have found another newspaper, which is great. Um, and I just... Um, I've already saved this one, but I would just do the same thing and save that newspaper um, and make sure that I've got it on my computer. So um, I'm just going to go down and look at Maud's local newspapers for a minute, but um, I quickly discovered that both of the Durham papers aren't digitised up to Maud's era, 
that was a bit of a dead end, however that happens. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little guide to the British Newspaper Archives, and if you have any questions, just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to answer them.